three-dimensional word problems, trigonometry. And today, with these three-dimensional word problems, we have a little stage set up here so you can follow along and get some better ideas on how to sketch these and make them really easy to solve. So with these word problems, you're always given a setup such as this stage. Now, the reason I made this little model is because it's often hard to translate what you see in three dimensions onto two. So what we have here is we have um, two Jedi warriors, Lego men, the first one here, J Jedi Wolfman, who's wearing his Wolfman vest. And we have Jedi Laser Man, who is just carrying a laser. And up on top here, because he won't stay there by himself, we have a member of the council who's going to be supervising the fight. So he's up here. Okay, so you always have somebody above looking down. Now with these questions, you're always given bearings. And remember that a bearing is just a distance measured from due north to an object, or in this case, a person. So in your word problems on your in your textbook, they often use things like somebody's on a cliff, they see a sailboat, two sailboats, and how far apart are the sailboats given some information about them. So in this case, we have, um, you're always given a height, that's a distance from here up to the top where the councilman was standing, but he won't stay there because it's not stable enough for him. But we do have north, south, east, west compass point up here to help you with your bearings. So what you're given is the bearing from here. So swinging all the way around to this side here. And in this case, it's given that that bearing is 250 degrees. So remember, that's from here, swinging all the way around to here. And the bearing for Laser Man here, from here around to here. So it's not quite 180 degrees. Um, it's about 145 degrees. So we have 250 to this one, 145 to this one. And the triangle that you're working with is the one actually that's here on the ground. So if I turned it this way, you'd say, oh yeah, yeah, I see that's the distance would be that long length between the two Jedis. And I need some information to help me solve that distance for this triangle. So I'm trying to find some information about this triangle. In particular, first of all, I need to find this angle. Now that angle again, just is the difference between those two bearings, isn't it? So if the bearing was 250 to here and it was 145 to here, then that means this angle in here is going to be 105 degrees. We're going to write this in two dimensions in a minute. So we have a height, the guy's nine meters off the ground. We have the bearings, the difference in the bearings going to give me this angle. That's all you have to do, the difference in the bearings. What's important for you to note here as well, though, is that there is a right angle for each of these side triangles. So if I turn my triangle this way, you'd see, oh yeah, that's very two-dimensional right angle triangle, and the same thing on this side. So that's where the angles of depression come in. So the angle of depression, again, would be the measurement from a horizontal line or the sight line down to where you would see this guy. So the line that comes right up here, this is my angle of depression. So you're given both these angles of depression and because this is a right angle triangle and this line here is parallel to the ground because your sight line and the ground line, we're assuming that they're flat. So this angle here is going to be the same as this angle down here. So that's giving you, you have a height you have an angle and same thing on this side. And what you're going to be able to do with that information is evaluate the length of this side and this side, which will give you side, angle, side. And then using those pieces of information, you're going to be able to find the distance between the Jedi. So let me just rearrange my camera here so that you can see the word problem in words now. 
So I said, the de determine the distance between two Jedi Lego men, given a member of the Jedi Council standing on a cliff nine meters above. Here he was. And he's looking down, and the bearing to Wolfman is 250 degrees. So that means from here, swinging around is 250 degrees. And from here to this guy, Jedi Light Man, Laser Man, was only 145. So this angle here, this angle right here, is just the difference in the bearings. You will always be given two bearings. So this is going to be 105 degrees. And so you subtract the bearings. That's the very first thing you want to do when you're doing this word problem. Subtract the bearings. So 250 degrees minus 145 degrees gives me 105 degrees. Now, every time you do these word problems, all you have to do is draw a triangle. It doesn't have to be to scale. It doesn't, you know, you don't have to make sure you've got the right angles in here and the distances and the, the height really high. Don't worry about it. It'll all come out in your calculation. Just draw a basic triangle, drop a perpendicular, remembering that these are perpendicular, this one and this one, just like in the drawing, right? You can see that up here. These are right angles, and that's the tricky part when you put it into two dimension because it doesn't look like 90 degrees. So we have our sight line and an angle of depression. So angle of depression to this guy was 48 degrees. The angle of depression to this guy was 52 degrees. Now remember what I said about the Z pattern. So this is my Z, boom. Boom, boom. So this is actually parallel to this. Doesn't look it. I know it doesn't look it. And that's that's where it gets a little confusing because you have to think more about this box here that I've made for you. Okay, so you your Z pattern is there. And that means this angle here is the same as this angle here. And this 52, zing, 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 52 degrees down here. Once you have those two angles, these two angles here, and you have the height of nine meters, it's very easy for you to calculate the length of WD and LD, where D is just where this meets the ground. So I'm going to calculate those first. So I have the tan of 52 degrees is equal to nine over um, 10 of 52, what did I use for my letters here? 10 of 52, 10 over, this would be side W, little W. So W is equal to, now be careful with these ones, right? Because this is where you have the W in the denominator. So it's 9 times 1 divided by the 10 of 52. So 9 divided by 10, 52 degrees. And that comes out to about 7.03. Now I do the same thing on the other side. So I found this side length here now. I've got this one. And the next one I'm going to find is this one here. And it's the very same calculation, except I changed the angle. So the tan of 48 degrees is going to be 9 over. And we have another letter this time. This would be side L. So L is equal to 9 divided by the tan of 48 degrees. And that comes out to about 8.1, 0. Okay, so once you have that, now I have the two links. I have the angle. So I have side, angle, side. I'm going to use the cosine law to find the length of D. And I'm going to write that right. Oh, maybe I'll write it down here because it's kind of long, right? D squared equals, so D squared is this squared plus this squared, so we just add those up, 7.03 squared plus 8.10 squared minus 2 times 7.03, multiply them again, multiply them together, times the cos of D, D is 105, 105 degrees. 
Now be careful with your calculation. I've often seen this mistake here because um, if you plug it all in your calculator, like I said, all together, it'll be fine. But if you try to do it separately, remember the cos of 105 is going to be a negative number. So that's going to be negative times a negative is going to be adding all of this in the end. Okay, so that comes out to about 144.506. And let's just take the square root of that because I didn't do it. Um, second square root 144.506 and I get approximately 12.02 and you'd have a nice concluding statement of course like therefore therefore the Jedi are approximately oof in the room here 12.02 meters apart so just in summary now these questions are all the same you're given two bearings you're given two angles of depression and you have and a height that's all you're given right two angles of depression two bearings one height you make a quick sketch of any triangle you just draw the triangle like boom 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 you drop line down and make like an upside down Y here. And that gives you your three dimensions. Don't forget that these are right angles. I know they don't look like it. Your angle in here is the difference between the two bearings. Once you've got that and your angles in here and here are the same. So very easy to do. Sketch it a couple of times. I swear this is going to be the question on your test. It's going to give you a seven out of seven or whatever your teacher marks. Okay, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if this is helping you out. Um, I like feedback, just like you do. Have a good day. Ooh. Bye.